you some travel hacks that we know will help you so much in the world of travel. And don't be overwhelmed, it might seem like a lot of points, but we just want you to have the best travel experience and these will definitely help you. Because it helped us, yo! <laughs> So before we get into this video, don't forget to follow us on the usual Instagram, Twitter and Snapchat so you can keep up. And if you are new to this channel and this is the first video of ours you are watching, go ahead and click that subscribe button so you won't miss anything. Also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if it helped you in any way because it means so much to us and it's also free girls so just hit that button. <laughs> so with that being said, let's get straight into this video. Let's go move into my so hack number one is to roll your clothes. This will give you so much more space in your suitcase as opposed to just throwing everything in and making it really bulky. Just take all of your clothes and roll them into tiny little piles and stack them on top of each other. The next step is to cover your shoes with a shower cap. That way the dirty parts of your shoes will not be touching any of your clothes. We like using shower caps because they are inexpensive and can stretch to fit all kinds of shoes. The third trick is to use plastic wrap to cover your bottles and prevent any spills in your suitcase. We have this handy plastic wrap roll but you can always use cling wrap. Just wrap it around your products a few times until they're tightly sealed. Just a heads up, this stuff wraps really tightly so it might be a bit tricky to come off but it's worth it because you're going to be wasting a lot of product if it happens to open in your suitcase during the flight. The fourth hack is a really cool trick to keep your necklaces detangled and all you need is a straw. Just unclasp your necklace and slip it through the straw like this and then clip it. The straw holds your necklace in place and prevents it from getting tangled with other necklaces or even itself. The next tip is one that will help you to protect your palettes. All you need is a cotton round and you just put that in your makeup compacts. This provides a cushion that will prevent it from breaking if it happens to get knocked about in your suitcase. If you have bigger palettes, like the Naked palette, we suggest wrapping them in your toughest clothes. So that would be like denim, jeans, shorts or jumpers and that would function to protect it from damage. The next tip is actually one that a lot of people forget. Be sure to carry a laundry bag so that when you reach your destination, you can keep your clean clothes separate from your dirty ones. Another great idea to keep your clothes smelling nice and fresh is to place a dry sheet into your suitcase. This will help get rid of the stuffy airplane scent. You know what we mean. To immediately identify your suitcase, you can tie a colorful ribbon to it. That way, when it's rolling off the belt, you'll know immediately that the purple sparkly one is yours. This is a great way to save time instead of wondering if every suitcase that passes you is yours. So for your carry-on bag, we recommend packing some clothes and essentials just in case your suitcase is lost in transit. Yeah, you really don't want to be in a new country without any clothes. A great way to store your underclothes is in a drawstring bag. That way you can keep them all together and you won't have loose undies flying all over the place. This is the part you gotta say all that you feel. Don't forget, if you're carrying toiletries on the plane, be sure to carry TSA approved travel size one in a clear bag or case. I don't know. To keep all your charges in one place, wrap them up and pack them in a little pouch. That way they won't get tangled up and lost in your bag when you really need them. Another in-flight tip is to pack a few snacks for when you get hungry. We recommend using clear plastic bags that don't take up a lot of space and you can always dispose of them after. A really important tip is to make sure that you have your phone on airplane mode when you're on the plane or in a different country. That way you won't run up your phone bill because of roaming charges. Something that we really recommend getting is a VTM card, which is basically a reloadable credit card. It's different from an actual credit card because you add money to it. That means that you can only use the money that you put on it yourself and you get to control how much you spend. The VIP or very important pouch as we call it is something that we use to store all of our important travel documents. This includes any cards, passports, boarding passes and of course a pen to fill out any documents with as well as a portable charger which come on we always need. This is a great way to keep everything in one place so you won't be scrambling to find them. You should always have loose change in the currency of your destination because you might need it for emergency phone calls, a cab or even a suitcase trolley thing. So that's a wrap for our travel tips. We know it sounds like a lot but once you get the hang of it you'll be a travel expert in no time. 
Give this video a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss a thing. Thank you so much for watching and we'll, we'll see you in our next video. video. Bye! Mwah.